Another cool find here today, guys. Check out this rock and those patterns on it you see. Now, again, a lot of people look at those and think, what are they? Plant fossils? They look a lot like plants, maybe some ferns. So what are we actually looking at? Well, today we're going to find out. These actually aren't plant fossils, even though they really do look like it. They're branching patterns of manganese coating on the surface of this rock, and it makes this this branching pattern that is called dendritic. If you've heard the word dendrite or dendritic, it's also referred to say like um, neurology research, right? We, we refer to the brain that way. Sometimes in art, you'll hear dendritic. So that's a common term, but it, yeah, it's that branching pattern. Minerals can take on many different crystal patterns. Many metal minerals are known to form natural branching patterns. Metals like silver, copper, gold, and manganese. Even ice, yes, it's a mineral, can form branching patterns. So how do dendrites form? Well, they're minerals, and the minerals precipitate within the rapidly cooling igneous material, also known as molten rocks. And when that forms, these materials precipitate into these branching patterns, very specific to certain minerals, but if you have the right one, it will branch out into what we call a dendrite. But it is pretty fair that it fools some people into thinking it is a plant fossil because it sure does look like a plant fossil with that branching pattern. And there are some features that you might find out there that will be lookalikes. So keep in mind, you might have a plant fossil. You might have a carbon film plant fossil that looks like this, but it does have a specific rock and you're usually looking in something like a shale and it will be a dark flat film-like feature that looks like maybe a fern. Another thing you might find are bryozoan fossils. These are marine fossils, and sometimes they have a branching or net-like pattern. And if you're used to seeing them though, you can tell the difference. But a cool feature of dendrites is that they can be found on an arrangement of different rocks, uh, types, and colors. And when you find them on a lighter rock with that darker pattern, they tend to look really cool. Lastly, if you are out there rock hounding and looking for some dendrites to add to your collection, know that they can be found all over the place because these source of minerals are available in a wide range of environments. And I've found them all over the western states, all the way from Arizona to Idaho. So happy hounding. See you guys on the next adventure. Mm -hmm.